Welcome to Book Log Training. Book Logs Events module tracks your store's events, book launches, author talks, children's events, special shopping days, book clubs, or anything that's tied to specific items in a specific time period. It makes ordering books for the event easier. Most importantly, it shows you how events drive sales. It's exactly that information, including attendance numbers, that organizers and publishers will want to know before scheduling book events at your store. With the events module, you can track attendance, run scheduling reports, notify your purchasing staff about upcoming needs by putting event items on the TBO list or sending them directly to purchase orders, as well as check out books through the book fair module and run sales reports for past events. Before we create our first event, there is one piece of book log housekeeping that you need to do. Every book log installation comes with three event types, author event, book club, and book release. Before your first event, you might want to add new event types so your options are customized to your store. To do so, going to sales, events, event types, press the insert key on your keyboard or click new. Type a code into the event type code field. Type a description into the event type description field. Click OK to save your changes. You are now ready to make your first event. Let's look at the event window and its parts. Go to Sales, Events, then click on Events to see a list of all events and to make new ones. Click New or press the Insert key to open a new event. There are several parts to the event window. At the top is the header, which tracks general information about the event, like its location and start time, its type, and of course its name. Take a look at the start sales date and the sales end date. These are used to track sales before or after the day of the event itself. It's worth noting that events may trigger sales beyond the actual event dates due to advertisements and store displays. The start sales date is the first date in the event's period of influence. It might be the day you start advertising the event. The sales end date is the last date of the event's period of influence. It might be a week or two after the event, after you've shipped any mail orders. Below the header you'll start defining the inventory items tied to the event, the tickets, and the people associated with the event. Use the items tab to track whatever you expect to sell at the event. Use the Tickets tab to identify which book log inventory items will be tickets for the event. You can add as many ticket types as you need. Use the Presenters tab to track the people associated with the event, an author, moderator, publicist, or contact person. I've manually inserted a row into the Item tab by scanning the ISBN of a book. As you can see, the book information populates. The minimum PO quantity field defines the multiple by which you will add books to purchase orders in the TBO list. For example, to order books in multiples of 5, enter 5 as the minimum. If you create purchase orders based on an estimated attendance of 62, book log will round the item's ordered quantity to 65, the next highest multiple of 5. Use this field if you are ordering lots of books and don't want to order a partial box. Another way to load items is by importing from a user-defined list. If you already have a list of the books, you can load them by going to Edit, Import from User Defined List. Most book events won't have a User Defined List, but something like a special shopping day could have one. Now, let's add a Tickets to the Ticket tab by scanning the ISBN or by using F4 on your keyboard to open the search window. Tickets are book log inventory items, create them and sell them as you would any other item. I'll add this ticket record, insert author event ticket, for the upcoming on-site event. As tickets are sold, the month to date, year to date and other sales fields get updated. Now, we add people from the customer list to the presenters tab. Open the customer search list using F4 and pull customers into the tab. Although it's called the presenters tab, you'll use this tab to also track coordinators, author reps, or anyone else you need to be in touch with. Note each person's role and add a memo to remind you about their needs or contact requirements.
Once you've recorded which items you think you will sell, it's time to order them. Depending on your store's workflow, you might immediately create new purchase orders for your event items, add the items to an existing purchase order, or send the items to the TBO list, with notes, so that someone else can add them to a purchase order later. To start, go to Edit. Send items to PO. The Parameters window will open. As you can see, it has several parts. Choose either Send to PO or Send to TBO list. If you create new purchase orders with Send to PO, the event name will appear in the Purchase Orders Reference field. If you place the items on the TBO list, start date and time, and any item notes will appear in the TBO list. To create separate purchase orders based on the item's vendor fields, choose Inventory Vendor Field. Then, choose a vendor field from the pull-down list. To send all of the items to a single purchase order, choose Specified Vendor, for all, and pick a vendor from the pull-down list. Use percent of estimated attendance and add a percent amount to calculate the quantity values based on the estimated attendance for the event. Use Specified Quantity and Type of Quantity to establish a firm, uncalculated amount for each item. Lastly, this section will round your quantity up to the number designated in the Minimum PO Quantity field assigned in the Items tab. Now that we've talked about how to make the event and how to the items interact with different parts of Booklog, like purchase orders, we come to the most important reason for making events, reporting. Reporting is how you can see how successful your event was, and how, as you record your events in the system, you can track trends in event sales. Run the event review and event calendar reports as paper records of your upcoming events. Print attendee tally sheets with the event's ticket sales report, so you can check off ticket purchases by name as attendees come into the event. And most importantly, use the event item sales report to track sales during, before, and after the event. You can also run any sales or inventory report by event. Go to your report list, search for the sales report, and add the event dates to run a comprehensive sales report for that day. Booklog's event module can help brand awareness and boost sales. The event reporting can be used to let speakers, authors, or publishers know how successful the event was. A possible incentive to do more events in the future at your store. Thanks for watching. For more information, email tech at booklog.com or visit us at booklog.com.